Ireneo Arosi comes by his passion for barbecue naturally. He grew up in Brazil's barbecue heartland in Rio Grande do Sul. At the age of 16, he moved to Sao Paulo, where he worked at some of the top grill restaurants in Brazil. In 2014, he joined a new Brazilian steakhouse here in San Antonio called Chama Gaúcha. He's here to show us how to prepare Brazil's most famous cut of beef, picanha. Ireneo, bem-vindo. Welcome to Planet Barbecue. Muito obrigado. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell me about picanha. Well, picanha is the most traditional and the most famous cut of the churrascarias right now. What is picanha exactly? Picanha is the prime cut of the top sirloin. Top sirloin, okay. So it comes from back here. From the back front. And sometimes I've heard it called fat cap sirloin. Correct. So the fat gives a little more flavor and more tenderness for the picanha. That looks like about an inch thick layer of fat. Yes. We, once we start curry, we're going to trim the extra fat mm -hmm. before we put it on the grill. As you can see, the marble of this. It's just gorgeous. Yes. It's amazing. Yep. And you kind of cut across the grain. Yep. Okay, so you trim a little of that extra fat off. Okay, so you come through one side, yeah. you curl over, and then you come through the other side. Beautiful. So it's almost forming like a comma. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about these guys? We're not going to use these guys? We can do one more. One more, OK. And I suppose these you could just cook on the grill or yes, I, make kebabs? That would be or, for appetizer. Uh, for appetizer, OK. Mm, beautiful. Great. That looks magnificent. That is such an iconic view. And then we're only going to season with a sea salt. OK. Very light, so we don't change the flavor of the meats. And Ireneo, I notice you're sprinkling the salt from very high up. Why is that? On all the pieces, even an amount even of, layer salt. of salt. OK, great. Ready to put it on the grill? Yeah, ready to put it on the grill. All right. And we'll just switch on the motor. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to wait. How long do you think it will take? About 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes, OK. And we're grilling over a mesquite wood fire. Now, I know that's a little different, because in Brazil, you cook primarily over charcoal. Yeah, the restaurant we use a uh, mesquite charcoal. Mesquite charcoal. So this is real mesquite wood, yeah. so we'll get even Give more. a little more flavor. Very good. When I was in Brazil, I saw on the menu it said beef with flour, con farinha. What the heck is farinha? They call it farinha de mandioca, is okay. what they call. And this is a traditional accompaniment to beef in, uh, in Brazil. That right? is, yes. In Brazil, it's a very traditional dish to serve along with a Picanha. And the idea is it absorbs the meat juices, Correct, right? Correct, yes. OK, so we're going to start with four tablespoons of butter. And we'll saute bacon. Some nice bacon. OK, diced bacon. Red bell pepper. And finely chopped scallion. Very colorful. We'll stir that around. Now, in Brazil, you use something called farinha de mandioca, right? Cassava flour, manioc flour. Mandioca flour. Right. And if you can't find that, uh, panko breadcrumbs work great. So that's what we're going to use today. But we want to brown the bacon a little bit, right? Yeah, so we get a little saute a little bit. All right. So how many days a week do you eat beef? Seven days. Seven days. Even on my day off. Even on your day off. Yes. And uh, lunch and dinner or just lunch? Lunch and dinner. We ready for the, uh, for okay. the farinha? For the farinha, or in this case, the panko. Little salt, little pepper. And here we go. You can tell me how close we are. Hmm. 
Look like a real Brazilian. Well, thank you. Obrigado. Muito bom. Irineo, is there a sauce you serve with beef in Brazil? There is a sauce called molho de campanha. There is a very popular sauce that go along with the with the beef as well. It means country sauce, right? Yeah. We do have some uh, onions. Go ahead. We got a red oh, bell pepper. Red bell pepper. Green bell pepper. Green bell pepper. Yellow bell pepper. Yellow bell pepper. Some serrano pepper. And some parsley. Parsley. We got vinegar. Vinegar. Go ahead. Olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Not like that. A little no, more. Enough. Okay. We'll be good. And some finally, salt. Some salt. Freshly ground back pepper. Let's mix it. Mm. It's almost like a Brazilian salsa. Yes, it's like a salsa, but a lot of people, a lot of people, they call pickle gallo. Brazilian version. There we go. Shall we? Hmm. Beautiful. Very Amazing. fresh, country. Little heat. Nice. Okay. So now what? Ready for the picanha? I am. Oh, well, Steve, I'm going to use those special gloves right now to be able to get the skewer. It looks fantastic. Beautiful. Well, amazing. Ah. Piece of meat. Oh, my gosh. That looks astonishing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Start from the top then. All right. Beautiful. Look at that, it is perfectly cooked. Let me give you some of our farofa. And the molho de campanha. Okay. That's what we do in Brazil. Mm. This is insanely good. If you want to add a little extra flavor, of course you can okay. use a little bit of farof. Mmm. And the crunch. That's really nice. I like it with the panko. Mm -hmm. And then we get a little bit here. Mmm. What's really extraordinary is the beef. It's a very meaty cut. Like you think about yep. filet mignon, tender, not much flavor. This has an enormous amount of flavor, very tender. The fat keeps it moist. Got a nice smoke flavor from the skeet, too. Does, mm, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Outstanding. So I think in Brazil, when you like something, you say pinga, right? You, pinga. So you yes. squeeze your little earlobes, Correct. pinga. Ireneo, uh, muito obrigado. Thank you so much for joining us on Planet Barbecue. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for having me. I'm let's, diving in. Let's for enjoy more. this. Mm.